There are thousands of stories about alien abductions or the sightings of UFOs. Maybe a mysterious, unidentified creature, but they are usually stories with a lack of visual proof. We've covered some of them on this channel, and no matter where we stand in the story, there is backlash from believers and non-believers on whether the story is true or not. But today, we don't just have the story, we have video proof that shows that we are truly not alone in this universe. The video was first shared on Facebook by Vivian Gomez on June 6, 2019. Ever since she posted it, the video has gone viral with over 16 million views on Facebook alone and close to 7 million views on X. The video has left many people puzzled about what this sort of creature is. According to the woman, she said she woke up on a Sunday morning and when checking her camera footage from last night, came across this clip of this creature in her driveway and she doesn't know what it is. Same with everyone watching the video clip. At first, people thought the video was a hoax for a publicity stunt to become famous, and the video was probably altered in some way, probably even using CGI to create the creature. But after careful analysis by dozens of independent experts, they revealed that the video wasn't altered in any way. What was in that video was actually there when the camera was recording. Some people thought it was a lifelike puppet being controlled, but the movements were too human-like to be done by a puppet. For a long time, no one had the answers until a theory came up that showed a close resemblance to something the whole world had seen before. If this theory is right, that means the creature that was walking in Vivian's driveway is not of this earth. In 2017, Two mummified bodies were found and excavated near the pre-Columbian Nazca lines in Peru. These bodies had elongated heads and hands with three fingers. They were not known to any species that originated from Earth. And for a while, everyone was puzzled with this findings. Mexican journalist and UFO enthusiast Jaime Maussan rose to the occasion and claimed that those bodies were about 1,000 years old and were the remains of past aliens that visited Earth. Of course, Jaime and a whole host of others who supported the theory were laughed at, and even his reputation as a journalist was almost destroyed. Then, in October 2023, two small, weird-looking things were found in a DHL courier cardboard box at Lima Airport. They looked like mummified bodies dressed in traditional Andean attire, and the crazy thing about this was that they also looked like the excavation finds that Jaime was talking about. Remember, he said he found it in Peru, and now these two small aliens, or whatever you might want to call them, were also found in Peru. This new finding reinforced Jamie's belief that maybe he was up to something. What are the chances of finding these similarities again three years apart in different places but in the same country? Like he was trying to say that maybe these aliens or whatever it might be once chose Peru as their home before meeting their demise. Mao Sun went back to Mexico's house in November with a group of Peruvian doctors and spent more than three hours arguing for the case that what was found in Peru were non-human beings. Now, I know you might be wondering, what does that have to do with the video? This is a side-by-side -side image of the video and the mummies. Looking at this side-by-side -side comparison, you could see eerily similarities between what was found in Peru and what was walking in Vivian Gomez's driveway. From the video, you can see right away that the creature in the driveway is very skinny and the shape of its head isn't normal. And if you look closely, you can also see that it walks on its toes with its heel in the air, never touching the ground. Also, as soon as it does the can't believe I'm saying this, chicken dance. Its arms stop moving as if to keep its balance, and it takes a few more steps. This is strange, because when most people move, they unconsciously sway their arms back and forth. But the creature in this video didn't do that. Also, look at when its arms are by its sides, the one on the right, it looks bent and so unnatural. If this was a human, you would think the arm got broken. And to be honest, at this moment, I would prefer it being an alien 
than it being a human being that is malnourished with a broken arm, especially if it is a child. And it does help conspiracy theorists that where the creature was found happened to be in a county that is riddled with military presence. A quick Google search for military bases in La Junta, Colorado will show you at least seven military bases that are close by. Nuclear facilities, military bases, and even black sites are like mobile hotspots to aliens. Eight out of 10 alien sightings are usually near military off-zone bases where even the personnel present don't know what's happening there. So now, most people are thinking, could the creature be an escaped alien or an alien on its own secret mission to foil a plan or something? Honestly, I wish we had more than just 10 seconds worth of video to go on. It didn't also help matters that the video clip is just from one camera, which activated itself to record due to its motion sensor capabilities. And according to Vivian, this was the only camera that captured the creature. The other two cameras she had didn't pick it up, which in itself is weird, especially being a motion sensor camera. This sighting was so intriguing that multiple news outlets told the news on their platform and even interviewed her. People were also worried and at the same time scared, with one caller to a radio show talking about forming an alliance. Now, I haven't told you all something because I didn't want to influence your opinion, and I wanted you all to hear from both sides of the story. Vivian Gomez, at the time of this video, had a nine-year-old son. This was what logical people used to explain the creature. They believed that what appeared in the driveway was nothing more than her son. But when Vivian was asked in an interview if it could be her son, she said no. There was no way she would let her nine-year-old son be outside at night. No sane parent would. Here's the interview. Could it be your son Bobby just goofing around? No, I wouldn't let him out at dark by himself. What's Bobby like? Is he a goofy kid? Does he like dancing around? He likes to play around and joke around and he loves to dance. Does he like to dance with his underwear on his head? <laughs> uh, no, I haven't seen that yet. But we have nothing so, to suggest she's lying and we just have to believe her. A lot of critics of this story still stand by their belief that it was her son, and I won't lie, their theories sound way more reasonable than it being an alien or a character from the Harry Potter series. I've been around kids, and let me tell you, I would rather be put in charge of retraining a hostile terrorist into loving people than being put in charge of kids. Kids are a handful, and some of the critics believe that this video could be a prank made by either a family member to prank Vivian or it was just boys being boys. If boys can wear underwear for four days, they certainly can be this goofy. I weirdly agree with them because I am guilty of playing pranks. We've all done it and what makes a good prank is the recipient not knowing it was a prank. Unfortunately, they didn't know it would go this far. Even the news outlet felt the same way and carried out its own mini investigation. I have some underwear to put on your head. Shall we? Sure. <laughs> All right, let's see it. Here's Bobby doing the chicken dance on a night vision camera. And here he is side by side with the creature. So, was it Bobby? Bobby, what do you say? I am not the one in the video. Of course, they look different in a way, but picture the kid just wearing a pair of boxer briefs and you start to see some similarities. You start to see that the kid is just skinny. And yes, I have seen kids that are skinny, but are not malnourished. Now, that is just one theory from the critics. Another thing that worries critics is the lack of information on the camera footage. There was no date, time, or even a watermark from the maker. Even though this may be how the protection system is set by default, it still bothers critics. This kind of information can help the cops in the event of a break-in or other problem but there's no sign of when the event in this video happened. Gomez wrote on Facebook that it was 8.59 p.m. last Sunday, which was June 2nd, 2019, which was the Sunday before the video was shared. That's the only tip we have. And how convenient was it that the camera worked for only 10 seconds? I mean, alien or not, the camera should have kept recording because if this was a burglar, you would certainly want your camera to be able to capture the whole thing. 
but this video was abruptly cut after 10 seconds, and all we get for an answer is probably the aliens went into the open field that was nearby. To be honest, a lot of things stand out in the video that make it nothing more than just a kid goofing around. For example, you could see right away that the creature is wearing flip-flops. You can see this in the video if you pay close attention to his feet. You can also hear the unique slap sound the flip-flop makes as the creature walks down the driveway. As I said earlier, the creature is wearing boxer briefs and what looks like a t-shirt over his head. At first, the creature doesn't look clear because of the light below and to the left of the camera. But as the figure goes further down the road, it's easier to make out what he looks like. I made the pictures better. So now we can see that he is wearing shorts or boxer briefs, and we can see that his head is clearly wrapped with his shirt. In such, someone took it upon themselves to do a side-by-side -side comparison, and I won't like it, I can see it being the shirt. As for the hand being in a weird shape, it's nothing more than acting out a character. If you were to play a hunchback, how would you shape your body? Definitely as a hunchback would. How many times have we watched something as kids and then acted out what we watched? Google Naruto Run if you still doubt me. A whole generation at one time preferred running like that. But despite these numerous proofs of it being her child, Vivian and her son still stand by what she said, that it's not her child. Her neighbor also agreed with Vivian that she had not seen anything like this. I saw it and I was like, is that an alien? <laughs> Kelsey Eddy lives next door. She says there are no other kids in the neighborhood who fit the description. I've never seen something like that in my life before. It just freaked me out a little bit. This story vaguely reminds me of the Balloon Boy story. Richard and Mayumi Heaney, parents to three boys, built and sent a homemade helium-filled gas balloon into the air above Fort Collins, Colorado. The balloon was shaped like a silver flying saucer to mimic a classic UFO ship. Unknown to them, their six-year-old son, Falcon, was stuck inside the balloon. The balloon flew for 90 minutes and hit a height of 7,000 feet. Just like this story, the event went viral and everyone in the world was paying attention to it, hoping and praying for the safety of the boy trapped in the ballon. Helicopters from the National Guard and local cops chased the balloon. The balloon had been in the air for more than an hour and had flown for about 50 miles before it finally descended. When authorities checked the balloon for Falcon, he was not in sight, which was terrifying because that would mean he fell off from 7,000 feet. A search operation was initiated and everyone was looking for the boy. As it was getting late, the police authorities were already composing words on how to tell the parents that they couldn't find their child, only for them to be stunned by what they saw at the family's house. It turns out that the boy was found hiding in the attic of his home, where he had apparently been the entire time. He was never in the balloon. I bring this story up to show how kids can be kids. The parents of Falcon didn't know that their child was hiding safely at home, as they were calling every agency for help. Now that's if you choose to believe the parents. If you are on the fence that the parents knew and acted the whole thing out for fame, that would mean the video, the panic reaction, and everything was fake. But whatever stance you pick, one fact remains, and that is nothing crazy or dangerous happened just like the Dobby-like creature we see in this video clip. As for the alien theory proposed earlier by the UFO enthusiast Jaime Maussan, it turns out that what was excavated after thorough analysis was a man-made humanoid doll. It was just a doll made of animal bones and modern synthetic glue. Honestly, in regards to this mummified alien or doll, I'm on the fence. The explanation for what that was didn't satisfy my curiosity because I was trying to understand how that perfectly arranged specimen was just a bunch of bones that were somehow mashed together perfectly to create a playing doll for kids to use. This means if the government was lying about the specimen, that could mean, and this is a long stretch, that something like this existed on Earth. But for the creature on the driveway, I'm inclined to believe it was just a kid being a kid. Either way, alien or not, I am just glad that the chicken dance is still practiced. 